It's Valentine's Day. Oh, it's Valentine's Day. And I'm listening to Sticky Fingers. Oh, I'm feeling this. In the midst of this dreadful pandemic, I was very lucky to be able to continue to make music with some friends. And like the whole of Australia and the rest of the country music world, I love the music of Casey Chambers, one of Australia's best singer-songwriters. I've seen Casey perform so many times, she's that good. Uh, even in alternate gigs up the Central Coast, she'd do these gigs in a small pub under the title The Lost Dogs, and she'd just do her favourite songs and requests. It was just heaven on a stick. Um, she's a good mate, and in 2019, my wife Pauline and I went with her and her band throughout Africa on a musical safari. It was just awesome. And uh, she was very kind to invite me up to sing a couple of stone songs up on a helipad in Victoria Falls. And one of the most trippy experiences of my life, let alone musical life, we were on the Maasai Mara uh, and we set up camp and she just did a little concert uh, with the Fireside Disciples. Uh, and I got up and sang Dead Flowers with her. Cadillac, you're making bets on Kentucky Derby Day. And at the start of 2020, I recorded a song written by a mate of mine. Uh, my mate's called Sean Sennett. He wrote a song called Valentine's Day, and I've loved it for years. And uh, so I finally did a version of it. And while I was in Nashville, just at the start of 2020, on a day off, I, I shot a clip around Nashville. I just got all the, the sights and sounds and crazy people that make Nashville the fantastic place it is. And that was great. And, and so I'd had the, the clip and I had the song, but I always thought it would be a great duet and uh, it would have been great to sing with someone. And of course, you go for the best. And I asked Casey, would she sing on it? Which um, she did. You will stay. When Casey sent me her performance on Valentine's Day, uh, she said, look, I, I've really changed this up a bit. Um, uh, you know, I, I hope you like it. Hope I didn't bring it up. <laughs> In classic self-deprecating Casey way. Uh, she sure as eggs didn't, as you'll hear. Um, just an amazing performance. I remember getting it, being so excited to hear what she'd done with it and playing it to some of my kids who were in the house at the time. And my daughter, Claire, uh, said to me, Dad, yeah, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Is there any way you can just lose your vocals and keep Casey's? <laughs> so, yeah, she did get up.